Hi YouTube, Jasmine here, and I'm here to do a review on this product right here. This is the Garnier Fruities Triple Nutrition Fortifying Conditioner. And this is the golden bottle, not the green one. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to be addressing a few things about this product here, and I'll point them out as I go on throughout, but let's get started. Um, we'll start with the packaging. The packaging here... It's rather easy for me to hold this package because, well, I wash my hair in the sink, not the shower. Because I find when I wash my hair in the shower, most of the products I use tend to get in my eyes. So I usually wash my hair in the sink, and plus my hair is pretty short. So I find it relatively easy to hold, hold this bottle because my hands aren't really that slippery. And if they were slippery, I could just wipe my hands on something and then pick it up squeeze out however much product I want and then just continue on with my routine. So I give a thumbs up for the packaging. Um, ingredients, I usually read ingredients before I purchase the product and this product may not cater to those who follow the curly girl method because um, almond dimethicone which is a silicone, I don't know if it's water soluble or not water soluble and it is the fourth ingredient on this list and rubbing alcohol is actually the sixth ingredient on this list and rubbing alcohol can be somewhat drying so if you're if you're like me and you have hair that doesn't really care what kind of ingredients are in it in it as much as long as it gets the job done then this product might be for you otherwise if you follow the curly girl method I tell you to probably not buy it or give it a shot if you want to so, in terms of ingredients, it's okay. It does have avocado oil, olive oil, and sweet almond oil, and it does have shea butter in it, so that's a bonus. I am a fan of shea butter. So, on the ingredients, it's okay, there, though there are a few questionable ingredients, but it's fine. When it comes to conditioners in general for my hair, I need to have two factors here. It needs to moisturize, and it needs to have a lot of slip. If it does not have, if a conditioner does not have either one of those, then I will not buy it, nor will I use it. With that being said, this conditioner, in terms of moisturization, it gets the job done. It does a decent job. It's not something that makes my hair super, super soft, but it's like any other regular drugstore conditioner. I mean, it, it does the job. It moisturizes pretty well, well until my next wash. And my hair, in case you haven't noticed, is actually pretty dry right now. It's, I guess, somewhere between 4A and 4B, but my hair is relatively thick. And it likes creamy, creamy, creamy things, whether it be hair moisturizers, conditioner, whatever. It really loves creamy stuff, and it absolutely loves moisturizing products. In terms of moisturization, it works fine on its own. But I find that the more I use it, the more I have to keep adding other stuff to it, like honey, um, coconut oil, and olive oil to it, just to boost it. And I also find that if I want to use it as a budget deep conditioner, I have to add those ingredients I just specified. And then use heat from my blow dryer for about 5-10 to 10 minutes just to get my hair to open up and absorb this stuff to get the full effects of it. Do I recommend for you to do that? Not really. You could if you wanted to, if you're a mixtress like me. But if you want to apply it without heat, that's fine too. Fine too. So that's it on moisturization. Slip? I didn't get a lot of slip with this stuff. I really didn't. Probably because it's not creamy. It's more of a... Hmm. It's more somewhere between a cream and a gel. I can't really describe the consistency. It's somewhere between a cream and a gel. And like I said before, my hair likes creamy stuff. So I find that even when my hair is saturated with water and I go to apply this stuff on my hair, it doesn't really give me any slip. I find that I can't really run my fingers through it like I can with the Herbal Essences conditioner that I'm using now. That stuff has amazing slip. But this stuff doesn't really give me a lot of slip it just i can't describe it but it doesn't allow me to run my fingers through my hair as easily as i could with the other conditioner i just said before 
with that being said, the slip, I kind of give it a half thumbs up. This depends on your hair texture. If your hair texture is about as tight as mine, then you might not get a lot of slip, but everybody's hair is different. In terms of slip, this stuff didn't really give me as much, but I guess I focused too much on the moisturizing properties other than that. that so, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention the smell. It is a nice fruity, it's a nice fruity scent. And if you smell it directly from the bottle, it's a very pleasant scent. However, I find that when I start to squirt the product out into my hands and then I try to sniff it from there, the smell becomes somewhat nauseating because then it turns from a sweet, fruity scent to now a sickly, chemical, synthetic kind of scent. And I'm not much of a fan of those kinds of scents. I usually like natural scents. So while it does smell nice, uh, I wouldn't recommend stuffing your nose into it when you first put it into your hand because then the synthetic synthetic smell of it starts to really come out so I guess the smell is all right just if you only sniff it straight from the bottle so but all that being said in terms of how many stars out of five I give this product I would probably give it a 3.5 out of five it's good it does what a regular conditioner is supposed to do which is moisturize moisturize and take care of my hair after I cleanse it but I would expect something a little bit better just a little bit better than this I mean it's a good drugstore conditioner and this was my first time using Garnier Fructis products so it was good you can find it at Target and Walmart I believe at Target definitely you can find it at Target and I do believe they sell bigger bottles too I believe there's like 28 ounces for probably up to five dollars if you really love this conditioner and just to give you a heads up they don't sell the green bottles anymore they only sell these the golden bottles this is the golden one i've tried so that's my review on it and if you like it feel free to leave a comment if you want to let me know how it works for you and this is jasmine ruffin and i'm signing off so see you